And so you look at ways to optimize the, the, the pavement that you have. Hmm. There's got to be some heavy congestion. Are there any of those in the Bay Area? Or is it all in LA? The dynamic lanes? Yeah. I think the only one that we have that's a significant one is I-15 coming out of San Diego. Oh. I knew for a while they were doing it uh, before they did the, the fourth bore in the tunnel between uh, Walnut Creek and Oakland. I think we were shifting, but after the fourth bore, I think we moved it on to uh, standard traffic. Because hmm. we were able to put more lanes in. But the state doesn't want any more uh, paved lanes, and so we're trying to uh, do stuff to what? only. Maybe they don't want more paved lanes. They don't want any at all. So the more paved, the more lanes you build, the more you have increased your responsibility for what you have to maintain. Oh well, sure. And so. Um, Ideally, you'd maintain nothing more than what you already have. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's some different pots of money that that you can pull out of to build certain types of facilities. But the one that we deal with, uh, shop. I don't know if you've ever. You probably. Do you guys do any Caltrans work? Nope. Okay. It's all local road. So the majority of our state-funded projects, um, you can't build. You can't just add a lane to a, to a facility. And so you've got to figure out ways to make it work better. Uh, with what you have hmm. and so sometimes we'll neck down lanes from from 12 feet down to 11. we, we do 11 foot lanes on like 99 uh, south of sacramento and so that's why what it does feels that do? so you can you can move lanes down to 10 feet wide but when you're driving, oh yeah no you feel your shoulders yeah. and it, it slows traffic and so it's not always the best thing to do but sometimes we do it anyway because you can as long as traffic's flowing slowly, you can get more cars through. Oh. I mean, especially if it's going to be slow anyway, because you've got congestion, you've got weaving or whatever happening further downstream. You know, if you can get another lane in, you can mitigate all of that right lane movement. Cars coming in, cars going out. Go, 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 go. 